going to be making this hat and this was done in red remember that there's 24 colors of the chic sheep and I am in love with this yarn okay so this is the way this one looks and it's all garter stitch and it looks very very pretty I'll take a picture of it on and okay so what you want to do with this is that you want to make a chain of about 38 so make a very loose chain it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Let's do 40 just in case. We do need 35 only. So now we're going to cut the yarn and we're going to make, pass that yarn through the last loop, and we're going to make a knot there because we need to remember that this is the side that we're going to unravel because we're going to do a three needle bind off. Okay, so now we want to pick up with the yarn that we're going to be using for the hat and I'm going to use this, the, 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 this wonderful, wonderful, it's called platinum. So I am going to pick up, see this is the right side of your chain and I'm going to pick up those bumps in the back those there so with the yarn that you're going to be using we're going to dispose of it this this one later so I'm going to pick up 35 one two three only the bumps four five Six. See only those bumps in the back of the chain, and I will see you when I pick up my 35. Okay, I already did one row of going and one row coming back with the 35. So I am going to be counting double rows. So this going and coming back is row number one. So row number two we are going to do sh short rows so this is what it what happens row number two you are going to knit 31 that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So now what I want to do is that I want to turn. I'm going to turn my work because I'm going to go back and leaving these without knitting. Now this is very very nice because what you want to do is wrap that stitch there which is the one you're going to leave th three and that number 32 you're going to pass from your right hand needle to the left and then you're going to pass your yarn to the back and pass that stitch again to the right hand needle so that means you're hugging that stitch there and now we're going to knit back the 31 that we did. 
So we're going to knit it back. So there we go. I love this yarn. It's so soft on my hands. This is just a wonderful, wonderful yarn to knit with. Especially the people that have arthritis in our hands. You know, working with soft wool is wonderful. And we have to keep on moving our hands because we have to. Okay, so we already knitted the 13 back, the 31 back. Okay, so now we are going to row number three because we did the 35 and back as row number one. We did the 31, wrapped the 32nd and back, and that this will be a number three double row. So we're going to knit 28. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So we're going to do that wrapping again. So I already knitted a 28. Now what I want to do is turn so I can knit back and that one there which is the 29th, I am going to put back to my left hand needle. I'm picking it, I'm picking up only the back of that stitch and my yarn is going to go from the front to the back and then I am bringing back that stitch and I'm picking up the front of that stitch like if I was purling and it has been wrapped. Okay, so now I'm going to knit those 28. Whoops, I'm going to knit them back. One left. So now you can see how easy it is to pick up stitches. There we go. Okay, so we're going to finish the row number three, which is going and coming back with the 28. On this one, we wrapped the 29th. I'm going to write it for you, so look up the instructions on, on how to do this, because it's very easy. And next time we are going to knit 25. Let me get some more yarn here. Okay, 25 this time. That's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, 24, 25. And again, we're going to do that. And it's very easy to see 
what you have been doing. See, you can see the separation three and three, and there's going to be three here because this is the one that we're going to be wrapping. So now you knitted the 25, turn, pick up that 26th one, put it in your left hand needle, put your yarn in the back, bring it back to your right hand needle. So now that stitch has been wrapped, has been hugged, and now I'm going to knit back the 25. So once you see that there's, you know, sets of three, it is very easy to know where you're at. Because you just knit two, you have uh, four left because you're going to be wrapping that fourth. Okay, so we're done with the with the, this row. Okay. So now we have, you see we have three and three and three and now we're going to knit until we are there which we have two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, twenty, twenty-three. So now you know that we're going to knit twenty-two and then wrap the twenty-three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, one, twenty, two. And then now you can see three, 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 and four because that's the one that we're going to be wrapping. So you turn and you are going to pass that stitch to your left hand needle, pass the yarn to the back, pass that stitch to your right hand needle, it has been hugged, and now you're going to knit the 22 back. And it's only six times that you need to do this and you repeat this sequence 14 times. You do it less if it's a smaller head So this is more or less for a medium sized head. This is for about a 22 inch head. Okay, so now we're going to do this for 19 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And we have those we have three and three and three and three and those four we're going to turn pass that stitch to my left hand needle pass my yarn to the back bring it back to my right hand needle because that is it's not knitted so now we're going to knit the 19 stitches back And this, you repeat this, these six turns 14 times. If it's for a child, you do it 
12 times because of course you can change colors on every on every time that you change so for example it doesn't need to be all red or all gray it can be like gray and red or gray and blue or gray and uh, beige whatever you wish because this would be nice See, so you can alternate the colors if you wish, and we'll probably do something like that. But repeat these these rows 14 times, and I will see you when I get to my 14 because we're going to do a three needle bind off. Okay, so this is what's going on. I am going to do the platinum um, hat. But what I'm going to do with that one is that I'm going to make this part here longer because I really want it for myself and I want to turn it this way so I can have a brim. So that would look very nice. So I, I'm going to add maybe about 15 stitches in order to make that brim. So, okay, so this color is lipstick and this one is suede and uh, this one is leather so I did what I did with the gray with with the platinum I did with the brown with the with the leather and so I want to do this with two colors because I I really really want this for for my son Okay, so what I want to do, I already did the 35 and back, the 31 wrap, the 32nd and back, the 28 wrap, the 29th and back, uh, the 25 wrap, the 26th and back, the 22 wrap, the 23rd and back, and the 19 wrap, the 20th and back. Okay. So now I want to change colors. I want to pick up the suede and I will start knitting with that one. And what I want to do is knit the, the 35 because this has to be uh, close together. Because you remember that we did the wraps. So let's go and show you how this is done. So you can see because it, those wraps are not going to be, sh it, you, the reason why you do the wraps is so that it doesn't leave a hole. Now if you want to leave a hole that's okay but I prefer not to. So let's see that is the one that we wrapped and I'm going to show you how it's not going to show at all. So you are going to knit that whole row and back and you're going to see how it doesn't it really doesn't show anything it doesn't show like you did those short rows see so that looks very nice so let's knit back so that you can see so now of course with the with the beige with the with the suede you are going to do again the 35 the 31 the 28 the 25 22 and 19 and and then we turn and we do it with with the leather with the with a brown again so we're going to alternate these two colors and it's going to look very pretty look at that so okay I will come back when I finish with all the rows so that we can do the three needle bind off and I will see you very soon Okay, so I knitted the 14 repetitions and I alternated the yarn. See how pretty that looks. So, very nice. So now, of course, you have all these 
on the wrong side. Let me get the camera closer. We have all these things because you changed the colors. And so now we need to weave them in. So the way you do that is that you're going to have a, a, a symbol, a sing, uh, simple knot there because I that's all I do at the beginning when when I change yarns what I do is just that I, I just make a simple knot just like that okay so let's get to sewing this so I'm going to pick up my base yarn And I am going to weave it in. So this is the way I'm going to do it. You are going to go into, let's say, two of the ridges there. Pass your yarn. And then what you want to do is that you want to split this yarn in half. Like this is a, a, a four strand yarn, so you want to open that so I have two and two and I want to go in there and you're going to pick up a tiny tiny little piece from let's see if I can get it closer a tiny little piece from a strand that's below there I'll go in there and then I am going to make a knot with the two halves of the yarn. Now it's going to be completely secure. Now I'm going to put my yarn into two of those strands and then I cut it. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the brown. I will go and pick up my yarn and weave it in a couple of strands, a couple of ridges, and then I'll split my yarn half and half. Need to twist, okay. This is a very nicely twisted yarn. It doesn't open that easily, which I love because you don't want to have it split on you. So now I'm going to pass it through a tiny little piece there, and you are going to make a little knot. And it's not going to show because it's going to be hidden in there. Now you put your needle and weave it in a few of them. And you can see that you, you can't see where the where the stitches are, see, because they're very well hidden. So you do that on all of these and I'll go with this three needle bind off. Okay, so remember we had that knot to show where the where the begin where the end of the chain was, the crochet chain, so we're going to cut that. And we are going to pass that first stitch out and we're going to find our okay so now I'm going to pick up this yarn this needle and pick up that stitch pick up the next pick up the next pick up the next thing you as you unravel you pick up and pick up pick up and you do that the whole row so let's go and do all this so let me put this camera closer so you can see what I'm doing 
I am picking up that strand and unraveling, picking up. There we go. It's very important when you're doing your your chain for your crochet chain and when you pick up your first row for the for the knits to uh, try and pick up the whole strand because if it splits then you have difficulty taking it off of course you can always cut it with scissors but uh, which it can happen you know I there we go see I it happened to me there so I go and be careful not to cut the brown just cut the one that has the the chain okay do not cut your main your main stitch only the ones that are with a chain okay so we are done this is the last one and we really want to get that last one because it does count okay now I have all my stitches here and you want to put the two side two to right sides together like so okay so now I have my 35 of one color and my 35 on the other and I have my two right sides together so facing each other and we're looking at the wrong side here so of course I picked up my stitches with a little thinner needle because it's easier to to pick up from there and then use the same size needle that you knit it with to bind off okay so I am going to go and I'm picking up from the front and from the back a stitch from each side and knit them together and take them out so now you're going to go and pick up from one side from the front and one from the back knit them together take them out and now you can bind off that first one that you knitted so again you're going to go front and back knit them together and pass one over the other and again you knit you pick up from the front and from the back you knit them together take them off your needle and bind off again pick up from the front and from the back knit them together take them off the needles and bind off again from the front and from the back knit them together take them off your needles and bind off let me see if I can get the camera a little bit closer there we go so from the front and from the back you knit them together take them off your needles and bind off from the front and from the back knit them together take them off your needles and bind off and you do that the whole row front and back knit them together take them off your needles and bind off Oops. okay so let's do this the whole row and I will see you when I finish this whoops okay it happens so front and back knit them together pass one over the other front and back knit them together 
pass one over the other and I'll be back. Thank you. 